Hello everybody, welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. It's the match reaction to Newcastle United nil, Liverpool 2. I've got Ruben Stein with me. Make sure you give him a follow, subscribe, anything you like because that will cheer him up. It will cheer me up. <laughs> I need but, cheering up after that one. I know, it's 17 and out for Newcastle. Unfortunately, after a terrible, terrible 25 minutes, basically the game was over as Liverpool won by two goals to nil. Look, Eddie Anderson came out of the cold. He was starting in midfield. Isaac, St. Maxim and Almiron. I thought Newcastle actually started really well. I thought it started really bright. And if Newcastle kind of made that last pass on St. Maxim, has a lovely pass through to Miguel Almiron. If he can just get a better touch and fire it in, Newcastle go one the up. But it wasn't to be. I thought Liverpool scored on the on basically against the runner play role. It look, it was a fan it was a ball from Trent Alexander Arnold. Darwin Nunes gets in between the two centre halves from what I can remember. A lot of people are claiming handball, mainly have to say the crowd, not necessarily the players yeah. on the pitch. But Robbie, as soon as he gets a chance, he buries it, which is unlike top and Nunes this season. Oh, mate, this the, the goal of this game we knew it. Is as much as Liverpool aren't playing great right now, they've got quality players. Like they've paid a hundred million for Nunes. I know he's started very slow in this Premier League, but good player. And that that was the big thing for me tonight was that yes, they are coming in ah, not playing their best football. But they're a good side and we have to take them very, very seriously. And I knew it could be a chance where maybe if we aren't on our top game, they step in. And it was it was the worst case scenario. Yeah. They've, they've come in quick, they've scored the goal. We're looking around going, who's, who's going to sort it? Bruno's not there. No. Bruno's not there and... Bruno wasn't there for West Ham, he wasn't there for Bournemouth. But he will be there for Manchester United, Robin. That's thank, a, thank God for that. But <laughs> Liverpool, Liverpool did make it 2 0 within about I think, 10 minutes from the first goal. Chloe Gakpo scored against Everton on Monday night. He continued that today against Newcastle. Lovely ball from Mo Salah. It was a tight one for offside, but Gary Bezik said no, he wasn't in VAR. Just about agree with him after about a three minute delay. Yeah. And that was 2 0, but that wasn't even the most contentious or most annoying thing about today. The fact that Newcastle didn't go 2 0 down. It was the fact that Nick Pope got sent off after Allison hits the ball long out of his hands. Mo Salah has the pace. Nick yeah. Pope's starting position isn't a bad starting position. He just doesn't deal with it. He's probably thinking, can I try and head it away? Yeah. He tries to head it, misses it, hits his, hits his hand, hits both his hands. It's a stonewall red card and he's out of the cup final, Rob. Johnny, you know what it is? We've, I've, and I've said a lot of things and it's um, concentrate on the day, concentrate on the day, concentrate on this game. I'm sorry, but there's so much in my brain concentrating on the cup final. Like, so the players, the, like, the players must be the same then? There's so much of me going, just make sure we come out of this. Because I think it, for me, it wasn't results. It wasn't whether we won, lose, or it was come out of this game and go, we gave it a big go today. Get the confidence high. Let's push on. The last thing we needed was our number one goalkeeper to be ruled out of the final. Yeah. So that is that is literally on the top of my list of worst things to happen today. And it happened? Uh, no, no, so no, Nick Pope, no Martin Dubravka, remember he played against he played Man. for Manchester United. Crazy decision now when you look at it, uh, when you look at it. Mark Gillespie ain't playing. Not gonna be Carl Darlow, he's on loan at Hull City. It's gonna be Loris Carrius. Swing low, sweet Carrius will be the song if he doesn't concede a goal. He could play one game for Newcastle United, though, as Zero, a hero. He could play one game for Newcastle in his entire career, but could be a legend. That's how much of a big deal so. it could be. <laughs> but look, half time came. Alan St. Maxman had a chance just before half time. His shot, well saved by Alan St. Maxman. Uh, Alan St. Maxman by Alison Becker, sorry. Tips it onto the crossbar. Newcastle had a big chance. Alan St. Maxman again. I thought him and Isaac played really, really well, considering the circumstances. And Isaac had a chance just over the crossbar. But Rob Callum Wilson, 10 minutes to go, has a shot saved after Anthony Gordon plays yeah. him through. After that, it was kind of, you kind of knew it was, if any chance of getting a point, that was it. Yeah, this is it. Second half, I thought we played way better. Second half, we were, we were a much better side. But I think a lot of that was the fact that Liverpool were already winning 2-0. And they went, you know what, we've, we've kind of won now. We'll just take a step back and just let the game ride out. We had our chance in the first, we had them in the second. We didn't take any of them, and, and that's that's a big thing for, for a lot of the games we've played recently. And and that's not just the last few without Bruno. That's something that we've struggled with this season. It's when we'll get the chances, we've got to take them. We've, yeah. we've got to take them, and, and when when we lack that little bit of cutting edge, lack that little bit of something, you've got to put the ball in the net. Yeah. And unfortunately. It was another one of them games. It was one of those games, but it's ended. Newcastle United and Liverpool too. It is Manchester United in the Carabao Cup final next week. 
everybody will forget about this. Everybody forget we will, about this. We when, will. when we go to Trafalgar Square on the Saturday night, everybody forget about this on the Sunday if we can get that win and end the trophy drought. From myself and from Rob, we'll see you all very soon.